We currently have a lionfish invasion going on down here in the Keys. And they eat pretty much anything that's alive that will fit in their mouths. So they eat crabs, they eat shrimp, they eat the baby lobsters, everything. We thought we were going to eradicate them, but now we're just trying to control them. At first, there were very few sightings. The sightings were concentrated in the upper Keys and then throughout the length of the Keys. Starting in the early spring, we began to see very rapid expansion in the distribution of lionfish and the sightings reports increase to where now we're getting dozens of reports a day. The lionfish's natural environment is the Pacific Ocean, but here in the Florida Keys, the fish has become highly invasive. Their numbers are spiraling out of control because of their extremely high reproductive rate in the absence of a natural predator. Single lionfish, 21 juvenile grunts that came out of that one lionfish stomach. And we're very concerned about the impacts these fish can have on our native systems. So that's why this is a big deal. That's why we're addressing it uh, so actively. One thing we believe has allowed them to be so successful is their reproductive output. The female produces about 30,000 eggs in a spawning event. The egg masses are buoyant, so they float at the surface, which is quite unusual for reproductive strategies in the Caribbean. And they're reproducing every four days. Five. Knowing the problems they can cause, uh, it's good to see that we're catching them and, and uh, doing something proactive. It's kind of bad seeing so many, knowing that there are probably many more that we haven't even seen. John Hollis is a conservationist with the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. And like him, his fellow marine conservationists conclude that the lionfish's exponential population growth cannot be controlled using conventional methods. The only controlling force here seems to be man, and this is why conservationists hope to tickle local taste buds by marketing the fish as a culinary delight, making it an interesting catch for fishermen. For now, though, the only people catching the voracious and venomous fish are divers interested in conservation. They're incredibly beautiful, beautiful fish and I hate to kill them, but they just don't belong here. They belong where they came from. Our fishermen won't be able to catch catches, and so it's gonna hurt the economy, and it's just a pretty wide range of the destruction they can cause. The lionfish actually started up in the Miami area. They think that some were released during hurricanes from large aquariums, and maybe some were released because they were pets and the people no longer wanted them. A year ago, lionfish sightings were quite rare in the Florida Keys. These days, sightings are a daily occurrence, reason enough for marine conservation organization REEF to open hunting season. We've caught off of our boat over 50 lionfish so far and have turned them into reefs so that they can be studied to identify the age, also um, find out what they're eating. Um, we are avid scuba divers, we're both instructors, and for us it's very concerning to see the invasion and how devastating these fish can be um, on the reef. So we want to try and do everything we can to protect the native species. They were all far in and upside down, so then you got to tickle them out to where the, the nets were. They did not want to get caught. The, the hardest part for me was just trying to get the fish away from the, the mouth of the back. Yeah. So I got to the point where I would shake it like this and most of them would go back. <laughs> And then we, I'd open about half of it, they, they put it in, and it was boom, 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 pow. I'm um, doing great. I mean, I think we've got 32 so far. We've been in the water for just less than two hours. From a standpoint of the competition, it's fantastic. From a standpoint of the environment, it's not so good that we caught 32 off of this very short area on these bridges. Well, and if we, if we really can't make it into a fish that people will eat, then we got a chance at really at least doing it. The if you look at the black grouper population, we pretty much wiped that out. The 540 lionfish caught at the derby are weighed, measured, and dissected for research. The heads are being uh, studied to determine their age. Um, there's a bone in the, in the head that they can use to uh, determine the fish's age. And the stomach to see what they're eating. Do we have fish in here that are done that we can start filleting? This is lionfish. They were caught just a little while ago. This will probably take about a minute and a half, two minutes. 
Nice and golden brown, we'll bring it out. And I believe that's our first batch that we're frying. You can sell that. Basket to that with some fries, sure, that would work. It does taste a little like hog snapper, but very good.